Hi, today's tutorial we're going to remove some stains on a t-shirt using the content aware tools in Photoshop. Okay, now the first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to go through the bottom part here, this area. Now, with this stain in particular, we've, we've got a t-shirt here and it's got folds to it like this for shadows. So if we use the clone stamp tool, um, we can use the patch tool, we can use anything whatsoever, we can do content aware, we can do all those things as well. You might have an issue with the front with the shadows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go roughly around something like that. And taking the account that we've got that shadow there, so we're gonna match it up with something else that's got a shadow. See, that's not gonna work. That'll probably work. Yep, that looks good. Do the same with this one. Maybe something like that. Yep. And this one. Do something like that. That's not going to work. It's working, but I'm not quite happy with it. So I'll just go a bit further. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Now we get the bigger area. Unfortunately, I have to keep on going around the whole entire image to get the perfect result. Now there is another way of tricking the clone stamp tool. Or tricking the content aware tool. I'll show you that in a second. So what I'm doing is matching up all these shadows. All right, say for argument's sake, I'm going to use this area here. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay, we just get the lasso tool. Go around an area like this. I copy that and paste it. I'll hide the back layer so you can't see it. So make sure we've got it selected. Go close around the actual part that we want to get rid of. Edit, fill, content aware. And what that's done is taken samples around there. If you did it and it took samples around here, some of this red would become part of it. So I'll just flatten it out. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we go to the patch tool, and I'll go around here. Oh, sorry, go the other way around, use the lasso tool. All right. Um, edit, fill, content aware. And watch what happens. See, it picks up bits and pieces of red here, black. This is what we don't want. So we'll try it here. Yep. See all that? It, that's fine. These little pieces are okay. What I prefer to do, I get something like this, get all the little pieces around it first. So that way you're minimizing what the content aware is going to drag from. What, what it's going to sample around. So I'm going for the little bits and pieces around first. Going around these little areas. And then we'll have it all key right around the whole entire part that we want to get rid of and we'll have no problems whatsoever because we'll have nothing else to actually sample just whatever we've cleaned up around it so it's looking better it's looking a lot better and it's easier doing it this way with little pieces at a time the only unfortunate thing is if you go like this and you go halfway in doing something it'll still sample that into there which is what we don't want the whole idea is to go around it so that you go around the whole entire subject. You don't want to go through it. You want to make sure that it's, there's room around the actual subject that you're getting rid of. Because the content aware is actually taking samples from either side all over the image. Now, we can do the content aware, keep on going like this, and it's just going to do 
the edge, but see what happens? It's actually blurred. That makes it even worse. So there's multiple different ways of doing this. You can use the cone stamp tool. Um, you hold down the option key, sample an area, and you just start tapping away. And you keep on retapping, retapping, retapping. No point drawing like this because it's just going to continue sampling an area that you've just covered. So I'm just trying to match up these areas, especially with these folds in the shirt. And I'm trying to avoid duplication of folds and bits and pieces of the garment where it's. And now, what I'm doing here, I'm just constantly just holding down the, the option key. Sampling an area and tapping away. So very slowly we're getting through this process. Now see here I've got this little area and this little area we've duplicated. So we can fix that up with content aware. So what I'm doing is just getting rid of most of the colour part. And we can deal with the shadows with the patch tool. So I'm just gonna get this area here, right. over there, and sample it like that. So let's blend it in. Right. Probably can't see it that well on the computer, but that's doing a good job. Now a little bit of redness just here. Do the same thing, go around it like that. Basically, all we're doing with content aware is just sampling an area around. Now, we're getting there, getting there slowly, guys, but we're getting there. Right. So, this you got spot healing brush as well. We'll give this a go. You've got to sample an area, so you hold in the option key. Um, go back to that one, spot healing brush. Sample that area. This is like magic this way. This is just doing a spot um, a spot healing. It's so it's basically it's when you push down like that, that's what it's sampling the black area around it. So it's pretty good this one. And you've got the one underneath it, the healing brush. Whereas you've got to take a sample of an area. So for instance that area. And then I start going along. This one's a little bit more, I don't know, it's a bit harder to do because it keeps on sampling that point. So wherever else I go, it's still sampling the same point. So yeah, it's not the best. Uh, spot healing brush is pretty good. This is one that a lot of people use um, for removing tan lines and things like that. It's really good because this one does this, the same thing. It's uh, content aware. That's what it's doing. We're getting there. Like that. Let's do a content aware of the, the surrounding area exactly where you're painting. So we're going to come to the issues when we get into the thicker stuff. So what I'm doing, like I did before on the other side, um, just minimizing what the content aware is going to take samples of by minimizing the area around the main part, like the black part there and all that. So if I keep on going around the edges and minimizing what it's going to sample, we'll be in business. It doesn't matter if you get left, right, up, down, it's still doing a sample and a radius. So a lot of people keep on thinking, oh, if I go left or I go right, it samples different sections, different weight, different actions, different angles. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that at all. It just does completely right around in a circular motion. A radius of what you're working on. So if I go like that, big one, big one. Because I'm using the press, uh, pen and tablet, so it's pressure sensitive. So lucky with that. Oh, that's better. 
Now, I'm just going to zoom out. Now, that's looking quite good. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back to the lasso tool, select this whole entire area, go content aware, edit, fill, content aware. Usually do 100% because it takes it 100% from this part, but it didn't see that how used. So there we go. That's done a good job. So there's all different ways of using content aware. And what I've just shown is examples of these are the easiest way of doing it, content aware. Now we've got problems with shadows like folds and skin uh, in clothing. That's all right. What we're going to do, we're just going to try and match it all up. And we keep on going like this, see what it's doing. It's actually just blending it in, which is what we want. So, guys, that's looking pretty good. Now, as you, as you can see, when you zoom out, you can see the light area there. It's not going to match properly. So, I'm just going to get a sample of that area like that and bring it down. Might even do it up. A bit more than that. So, and blend it in. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've done what we're after here. So, there you go, guys. There's some nice little tricks how to use the content aware tools to remove stains on a shirt. Thanks for watching.